welcome to a, another tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to show how you can install ftp server using xamp so let's open our control panel okay. so in our previous video i have shown how to install the services and start the services and you can see the admin menu from here so today I'm going to install the FileZilla to use our FTP server. This is the software that provides that particular service. So hit yes. And you can see that. Sorry for that. So as you can see the installing services is successful. FileZilla so we can start it okay so you can see the pid id and the ports so filezilla work on the 21 port and this is the another port so let go to the admin so if you press the admin it will give you the ip address this is your local host so make sure this is the ip and this is the port and this is the administration password so you can put any password over here and always connect to the server okay now you can see the filezilla server is now opened it's saying that the server version is the this is the server version beta this is the copyright uh, to team courses they have uh, built this particular software connecting to the server connected waiting for authentication log on okay so now we are going to create a user so if you come over here you can just add a user let's say agent one users should be member of the following group you can create the group from here over here so okay this is the agent we have created now we can add a shared folder where we wanted to uh, give the uh, storage so this particular agent can use it so we can add let's say i'm going to do in my d drive so once we add this we can see the directories over here now we have to give the permission so this is for the read if you check this mark then the user will only read can read the data and this is for the write this is for the delete and this is what we have uh, you can also provide services on the directories like create directories delete directories and other thing so yeah now okay so you can see the user is now created over here you can create the group over here so if you create a group the like users and you can provide the force ssl login if you have ssl you can connect with this thing maximum connection count how many time you can connect at once uh, it basically contain the data that how many time this user can log in at a single time so let's say two you can select the group by default speed limit share folder ip filter you want to filter by ip address you can do that from here then okay that's done so if you click on this user now you can see there is a user okay now let's connect to the server to do that we can just simply go to the file manager type ft you can either put your computer IP address or you can just put one 
going to use that one. If you hit enter, it will open the login page. As you can see, it's saying that FileZilla server version beta user anonymous page all the history all the logs it's happening you can see all, all them in real time so let's put the change and the password yes as you can see it's uh, given me the data which data it's showing let me show you I just go to the D drive we selected the D drive you can see all the drives data are showing over here so this is the services you can configure the file zeta server XML the configuration file over here there are many thing it's really a good software to use and create a local FTP server so if you find this video any helpful please like and subscribe i will see you to next video thank you